families. So for this first week, and maybe for the rest of the weeks if this helps, I wanted to go over what printables you'll need to prepare for each of the weeks. So week one is Heroes Learn, and there are so many different ways that you could organize your homeschool materials. I'm gonna show you just one way and how I organized it. However, feel free to do any way that you like. And if you come up with a great way to organize things, certainly share that. It could help other families. So, but I'll just show you how I did it. So the first thing that I created was this teacher folder. And what made sense to me was to have it separated by guides <clears throat> and posters. So guides would be things like the activities at a glance, the character connection, and some the character trait definitions, which we have every week, and some answer keys. So that's what's there. Now you might be wondering, wait, what about the instructional schedules? So what the instructional schedules are, this is the high level, really, really high level, and they've got check checks so you can, or squares, so you can actually check it off. But we also now have these instructional schedules, which gives the, just the next level of detail without being overwhelming. And so for week one, we have it for phonics and math. So it gives a little bit more information about what you're gonna do every day in addition to what's in here. So now you could include that in here, but since I knew for me personally, I do need to use all of these a lot. So I just went ahead and spiral bound it in just one little place. Now if you don't have this, it's called ProClick. You don't have to spiral bound it. You can put it in a, um, a binder, your hero binder actually, that's where it is now. And same thing for the math. So that's here. So that is guides. And just to clarify, this teacher folder is everything you don't want your kids to write on. So then we've got posters. So we've got the Hero Learn poster. This poster is important. I'm gonna put it aside and we'll talk about it. So we've got Heroes Learn, we've got the Heroes Rule, and we have various posters that we can use and throughout week one. We've got the Science posters, the Wise Decisions posters. Everything you don't want your little one to write on is in your teacher folder for the week. Now this document here, it comes in the circle time decor PDF and you can laminate this and then on day one you put one here and then on the end of school you say 180 and it's another way to show the kids the hundreds, tens, and the place value and you would just update this every single solitary day when you're in school. So that is that. Now. What do you do when it's week two and you're ready to, you don't need this stuff anymore? Well, you're gonna need to take this out and you're gonna need to store it. How you store it is up to you, but I'll show you a couple of options that you can store when I go through the other folders. So that's the teacher folder. Then I created two more folders and I have these plastic folders because I, I plan to use these throughout the year. So I wanted something really sturdy. So I've got a student folder daily and a student folder weekly. The only folder your student will actually ever touch is this one. This here is really a planning folder for you. So every day they're gonna get just what they need for that day. So it's nice and it's just as it doesn't overwhelm them. Inside you have do and done. So they can know what they finished by just moving things over. And same thing for this weekly folder. I just separated it by do and done. So when they get done with Monday, you put that in the done side, you know, this is what I need to do to get, I just, my goal is to move everything from here to here by the end of the week. Now what I did was I went ahead and put Monday in here because that's the first week. And then I just made myself individual little packets for the rest of the week. So I've got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And I put these all together just by using what it tells you to pull in this document here. The only thing that I don't have in here are the things for the reading and the writing, but that was in the, the other video that I did kind of showing how I set up the reading and the writing center. So that's that. Let's go over what exactly we're gonna look at as far as the packets for each day. Let's look at Monday. Monday, you can do your start with your first day of school poster. Now this here, I just wanted to point out, was actually not on this 
but I do recommend this particular document. The reason it wasn't on here is because we have a lot going on on week one and we just had to condense it. We're gonna be doing these every single week in class, but I think it's a really good idea to make your understandings of the character trait together as a family each week too. You've got the hero rules journal entry. We have the character trait scenario. Some of this we're doing in class, but then you should also do it at home as well. And we're not gonna do all of them in class. So we'll probably only do one or two in class and then there are, there are four of them and you would read it and you would discuss this. You can draw if you want. This is also available on Seesaw if you don't want to print it out. We have the What is a Hero uh, worksheet and then Sight Word Snap. I did want to point this one out as well because it wasn't explicitly put here on this. So you would want to do this one. And then you have the map pre-assessment pages for day one that are shown on the activities at a glance and for this pre-assessment and for the literature pre-assessment as well don't worry about if they get it wrong just let them do it and just to see where they're at so you don't have to correct um you know too much or at all really for the pre-assessment it's only for you to understand where they're at that's monday that would go in here and again this is the only folder your little one would touch now what do you do when you know, you'll get done. Well, I'll tell you when, when we get through this. Okay, so let's go through Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so you know what, what we've got. Tuesday, we have the hero rules. Tuesday, you're doing only the H. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So this one, this page will get used for the rest of the four days. You have your uppercase letter student. Um, this is from our literature ass liter literacy assessment, and there is an answer key which tells you what to say while they're doing this. So they're gonna color in the letter that they hear. And this is that, do they can they identify the letters? Uppercase and lowercase. And then you have the math reassessment that was you're supposed to do on day two. And then one more journal entry on the hero rules. That's Tuesday. Wednesday, you have the letter formation assessment. So we're just seeing how they write their letters. And you wanna see which ones they may need extra help on. And then we have the beginning letter sound identification as well. So they're going to look at the picture and then color in what letter it represents. You can help them if they're not sure what a picture is. And then we have the math assessment from day three. And then we have this science um, can use our graphic organizer and this is actually something that you go in the teacher folder it's actually a, some ideas of what you can put in here Thursday we've got the wise decisions practice which we're going to be doing some of these scenarios in the class as well but it's extra practice then you have the medial site sounds and the sight words assessment and again all of the um, answer keys and the instructions for how to do this what you say while they're doing this is included in the teacher folder then you've got the math for day four, and then you have the science journal entry. The videos that go along with this journal entry are included on your curriculum library on the video list um, post, or you can, it's also in our seesaws. If, if you can't find it, just let me know. I'll help you find it. And Friday, we have the sight words assessment. How many sight words can they read? We only have in the first 50. And then the math, and don't worry if they can't do any of this math, because this is a lot of stuff that they're doing in, actually both for the literature, literacy assessment and the math assessment. It's stuff we're doing all through to semester two, so it's, they don't have to know everything for sure. And then the math about me poster. Now sometimes in our week, well, maybe a lot of times, there are some extra activities. You can just make it as an extra section for yourself to pull out and have ready. So what I recommend is either Friday afternoon when you've finished your homeschool or maybe Saturday afternoon or Sunday afternoon, whichever you decide to be your planning day. Personally, I would do Friday afternoon so it's completely done and you've officially closed out your week. But however you wanna do, you need to come up with this student folder and make your daily, you know, make these things every day. So every day, all you have to do is just pick what you need to do for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and you stick it in your daily folder. You would put that together and you would put your teacher folder together. Now, what do you do with your stuff when you're done? Well, when everything's all done at the end of the week, you do have to store this. So you can store this in a variety of ways. I found this, I thought it was, I thought it was kind of helpful. It's got, I think this might have, I think this might have 20 or 26 of these. So you can label this by uh, week and then you can put the, the stuff here. You also have the portfolio, so you can put that in your hero binder. 
And um, however you want to store your completed activities, you can do that. So if this was helpful to you, I will go ahead and just plan on making a video like this every week so you can see what to put together. And remember, week one does have a few more things to put together, but it won't be that much for the other weeks. You're going to do great. If you have any questions, we're here to help. Have a great day. Bye.